यू गाइज दिस इज़ कीर्ति प्रिया गाजला वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल आई नो दिस साउंड वेरी फनी एंड न्यू टू मी बिकॉज दिस इज़ माई फर्स्ट एवर यूट्यूब वीडियो सो प्लीज़ बेयर विथ मी एंड फो गिव मी इफ़ आई डू एनी बिगिनर मिस्टेक्स बिकॉज आई एम वेरी न्यू टू दिस यूट्यूब थिंग द वेरी प्योर इंटेंट ऑफ दिस वीडियो इज टू हेल्प एम बी आई एक्सपीरियंस लाइक हु आर प्लानिंग एंड प्रिपेयरिंग टू गिव देर एम बी आई इंटरव्यूज दिस सीजन और कमिंग सीजन बिकॉज वाइल आई वॉज प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर माई इंटरव्यूज राइट आई वॉज लुकिंग फॉर वर्ड टू दीज वीडियोज एज देर वेरी हेल्पफुल इन अंडरस्टैंडिंग द एडमिशन प्रोसेस ऑफ बी स्कूल एंड ऑल्सो इट डज रियली हेल्प इन ब्रेकिंग डाउन थिंग्स फॉर अवर बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग सो या लेट्स गेट इन टू द वीडियो I have my laptop placed in front of me where I have jotted down all the points I want to speak upon uh, so that I don't miss upon anything. Uh, so yeah, let's get started. So yeah, in this video I'll be sharing my interview experience with Great Lakes Institute of Management Chennai. Like any other B school admission process, Great Lakes Institute of Management also conducts uh, three stages of admission process which includes uh, Uh, first is uh, profile uh, shortlisting second is written ability test aka analytical writing test and uh, personal interview uh, i applied for glim somewhere in between uh, mid of december for cycle 2 and i got the uh, mail from college regarding my shortlist uh, somewhere in the mid of january my profile shortlisting was uh, completely based upon uh, my past academic uh, performance my extracurricular co-curricular participation internships hackathons and uh, relevant work experience if you have any uh, so yeah when comes to my written ability test right written ability test and personal interview were not conducted on the same day for glim it was conducted on the two different dates uh, on the day of written ability test right you will be given a time limit of 30 minutes and uh, you will have the word limit of somewhere between 250 to 350 words i guess uh, for my vat the topic i was given was is ai making humans lazy and will it replace the human beings going forward so yeah the main intent of uh, written ability test is to uh, you know examine your uh, creative analytical thinking and all uh, you can write favor not in favor and in between based upon your personal choice but uh, i personally for glim wrote uh, in favor uh, in favor of the statement given so yeah when it comes to my personal interview right there was a gap of one week between my personal interview and the vat so i had ample amount of time to prepare for my personal interview uh, my personal interview was taken by two panelists uh, for our reference let us call them as interviewer 1 and interviewer 2 i think interviewer 1 was somewhere in between his mid 50s and the interviewer 2 was somewhere in between his mid 30s my interview started with basic exchange of greetings and questions like how am i and etc uh interviewer one uh, to forward the interview by asking the question introduce yourself i think introduce yourself is a basic question every interviewer asks so yeah i was well prepared for that question uh so i vomited everything that i have prepared for my introduction so yeah first question came up from my introduction itself that is uh, i have mentioned my hobbies in the introduction as uh, i'm very fond of working out and i have uh, lost like 10 plus kgs uh, during lockdown and now i'm very interested in opening a youtube channel so that i can uh, share my experiences and tips with a broad range of people uh, so the question came up like why didn't you open your youtube channel uh, till now like why now so uh, uh, i told them my personal reasons for that uh, and he was satisfied with the answer and out of nowhere he started asking general knowledge questions okay uh, he asked me the first question uh, what is chat gpt okay like i have uh, read about chat gpt as it is like uh, currently very popular so yeah i have uh, told him everything about chat gpt as far as i know then he asked full form of chat gpt okay that was a bummer for me because uh, Uh, i didn't read about like uh, full form as like most uh, i i i wasn't able to recall the full form of chat gpt uh, so he said okay it's fine let's go to the other question and he also was questions related to chat gpt whether it is like um, a word descriptive or it is image descriptive and how is it affecting uh, today's world is it going to replace human being going forward will it be like uh, reason for cheating in exams uh, etc etc and it was a normal conversation regarding chat gpt between both of us uh, then he again asked uh, general questions related to my home state that is telangana 
he asked the number of states in telangana i answered the question uh, because uh, during my interview process right i was daily reading newspapers and all so i was well aware of uh, current affairs and uh, everything that is going around uh, and then he asked the uh, governor of telangana i was able to answer that question as well um, and he asked like uh, what is telangana famous for what is uh, uh, the monuments that are present in telangana etc etc uh and uh, out of nowhere he asked uh, do you watch uh, padma bhushan and padma vibhushan awards presented by president uh, like that then i said yeah sometimes i do watch those uh, videos uh then he asked name two persons who received padma bhushan from telangana okay uh, at that point of time i was not able to recall who received padma bhushan from telangana so yeah he gave me hint uh Uh, like one is from spiritual background and the other one is from music background uh, spiritual background i was able to answer that is uh, chinaji ar swami uh, and from music right i was not able to answer uh, like i thought ar rehman but i again ar rehman is not from telangana right again he gave hint for me this he said like he recently received a global award uh, something like that then i was able to uh, recall that it is kiravani sir i told yeah it's kiravani uh for natu natu song uh, then there was a basic discussion uh, regarding the song natu natu how is the song did you like the song who is the singer uh, etc regarding the song okay uh, then he asked me questions related to my btech background okay i did uh, my btech in electronics and communication engineering so he asked me uh, questions related to ec like a difference between prom e prom ram rom etc and he also asked like the real life applications of these things uh, so yeah interview one wire up the interview and uh, hand it over to interviewer two interviewer two was more interested towards my work experience i have work experience of 2 uh, years in it uh, so yeah he asked questions related to responsibilities i have during my job uh, the project i uh, currently working in the clients i handle uh, the day to day activities that i generally work upon uh, in my job etc so yeah i was able to answer all the questions like i have give him i have given him the brief about my project what we generally work upon the clients we deal with uh, uh, the responsibilities i have during my job etc and he was satisfied with the answer uh, then he asked the question why mba like why mba now when you are doing good in your uh, career uh, so i have given him my personal reasons why i want to pursue mba now at this point of time and he was satisfied with the answer uh, then he again asked questions related to my company uh, and i have told me i have told him about my company ceo what are the policies we have what are the benefits we get in our company etc etc and he asked me about the work culture what it is different what stands out in my company compared to the other companies etc and he also asked about my uh, promotion in the recent times my hikes etc and he was pretty satisfied with my uh, questions uh, he winded up uh, the interview by saying that's it from my side uh, and interview one and two asked any questions uh, from you for us i said no questions i am good sir uh, yeah then uh, this is how they winded up my interview for glim so yeah uh, final verdict is i was able to convert uh, great lakes institute of management chennai pgpm program so this concludes my interview experience with glim so if you guys have any questions or queries related to mba preparation related to mba entrance exam or uh, related to coaching please feel free to comment down below or you can directly ping me on my instagram which i'll be linking down in the description box below uh, I'll be more than happy to help you guys so please do reach out to me and that's it guys I think uh, this video was helpful thank you